Is this a shield? Hmm. Doesn't look very solid, though. Seems like some kind of energy shield. Careful, all of you. Don't touch it. It might send us flying for all we know. Hmm. Big shield, big shield! <laughs> Clee knows you're in there! Hey, Dodo King, it's me, Clee! Come out and face me! No answer? Huh. Maybe he's not here. No, he's gotta be here. The bigger the shield, the better Dodo King must be. Sounds like Klee logic to Paimon. Oh, I think Klee's right. It's such a huge energy shield. There must be some reason for it to be here. A reasonable inference. I agree. An energy shield needs an energy source. If we can find the connected devices to the source, we should be able to destroy it. Let's all look for any potential devices in the vicinity. Ready? Steady? Ta -da -da! Klee, walk! Don't run! Come on! You don't want to finish last place, do ya? Let's go! Quick! Look! Look! Hmm. This does look like it could have something to do with the shield. Three devices in total. And look, the light converges in one place. Albedo, are we able to deactivate the shield from here? Hmm. These light-emitting devices each have a small frame in front of them. Looking at the shape here, it seems like something is supposed to be fixed in place. What shape is that? Um, I don't get it. Someone explain. An oblong circle. Fan-shaped, I suppose. Hmm, what could it be? We're by the ocean. This shape is a seashell, perhaps? But all the shells we've seen were either bigger or smaller than this shape. If it's not a shell, then it's got to be... Huh, a fish scale. A fish scale? But why would we want to put a fish scale there? Are there any other clues around? Whatever it is, we'd be placing it into the frames in front of the light emitting device. Which means... Right! I've never seen anything like this. Oh, so that's what they're for! If I'm not mistaken, this is a very particular type of installation. Light is integral to its function. I've seen similar designs elsewhere. The light has to meet certain requirements or emit on a specific path. The mechanism is only activated if the light conditions are met. It would appear that these three installations are the keys to activating the energy shield. And would you look at that? The light being emitted is white, but the installations themselves each have their own color. Red, blue, and yellow. Yes, just like letter. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish. Huh, that's right. Honorary Knight, didn't that big machine we just defeated drop something? Light red like flower petals, light blue like ocean waves, light yellow like autumn leaves. It looks like these three crystals might be the answer to this whole riddle. Give precious things to the greedy spirit in the sea. Huh, is that what we have to do? If my understanding is correct... Huh. Honorary Knight, I suggest that you place the crystals in the sea. I believe that this greedy spirit is most likely an ocean-dwelling fish. If the crystals do attract it to us, then we're a step closer to obtaining our fish scales. So that's the plan! In that case, Paimon's got something to say. On the way over, Paimon saw a huge conch shell with lots of fish swimming around it. If we're placing the crystals in the sea, then surely that's the best place to do it. Plus, the water is pretty shallow over there. It'll be easy to get the crystals back if the plan doesn't work. It will work. Don't jinx it. Okay, okay. It'll work. Everyone follow Paimon!
that should do it, right? But where are the fish? Please, was there anything else on that letter? Oh, uh, um, what was it? Greedy spirit, greedy spirit. You made the moon run a ring. So, maybe this type of fish only comes out after dark? Or to put it another way, we're gonna be here all night. <laughs> Catch fish, eat. Yeah, yeah, let's go fish blasting. Hey. Hold on, Klee. Will Master Jean come too? Jean said if Klee wants to go anywhere, she must tell Jean, and then we can go together, right? Uh, y yes I did say that. <sighs> All right then, time to go fish blasting with Klee. Uh, is Paimon hearing things? Jean and Klee are gonna go fish blasting? It's way worth it. The fish will taste so good. This is a deserted island, so explosions shouldn't trouble anyone. It's just a bit of relaxation, right? Find some fish, find some fish, let's go! There, mini fish. Klee's gonna get there first. Wait! Wait! Whoop! There they go! Well, if Razor is going, then I suppose it's fine. Once everyone is settled in, I will go after them. Is it time for a break already? Fantastic. I was just thinking about taking a stroll. Meaning, you're off on another pirate treasure hunt? <laughs> Who knows? These are big islands. There are bound to be more than a few secrets hidden away. Captain Kaya's on the case. Ugh. Master D. Luke, aren't you interested in pirate treasure? Hardly. I'm more interested in peace and quiet. Paimon doesn't think you'll settle for nothing to do. Amuse yourselves however you see fit. I'm taking my leave. For a bunch of grown-ups, they really can't sit still for more than a few seconds. So restless. At least Albedo's able to sit and enjoy the... Huh? Albedo! Albedo said that he wanted to spend some time alone painting. Jeez, what's up with everyone? Seems like we're all overdue for a vacation. It's not often that we get a taste of island living. I'm not surprised that everyone wants some time to themselves. Everyone should enjoy the break while it lasts. I'll convene everyone when the fish arrives. <sighs> I suppose we have let our focus drift a little. But at the end of the day, you can't deny that this ocean view really is something. Traveler, Make sure you take a little time to enjoy yourself, too. No, I... I was just... <sighs> what I mean is, I hope you enjoy yourself here. No matter what is waiting for us down the line, I will protect everyone, especially Klee. This is my duty as the acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. That's Jean for you. Always reliable. Traveler... Thank you. It is nice of you to say so. Anyway, I hope we can all find moments of peace and happiness on this beach. <laughs>